Okay, what you see before you is the Crossbreed Mini Tuck holster. This particular holster is for the Springfield XDS. Um, I have uh, another video, um, sort of a uh, workbench review of that um, already up. So that's not what I'm here to do today. What I'm going to do today is I am going to change the clips. So let's get underway. So I thought I would uh, bring you along for the ride. This is the first time that I have attempted to change the clips on this holster. I have not unscrewed these screws ever before, so uh, what I'm doing, <clears throat> the reason I'm changing, sorry for the throat clearing, it's allergy season here. Um, what I am going to do is I am going to install these J-clips. And J-clips actually go the opposite way. All right, now uh, they do include, Crossbreed includes an, a complete other set of hardware. Now the one thing I am noticing is that there's a little this rubber washer. Looks like it could be reused as well. Uh, my question, as I'm muttering to myself here, is whether I actually need to use separate hardware or whether that is just spare. And I'm thinking, right now I'm going to go on the assumption that it is spare. So I'm going to put the existing hardware in place. I will take the screw, I will take the little washer. This washer is interesting, it's kind of a beveled washer. So clip goes like so. <clears throat> so I, I have had the Crossbreed Mini Tuck for several months now. It is my favorite holster. Used just about daily. And I like it a whole lot. The reason I'm doing this, I ordered the J-Clips at the time I ordered the holster, figuring what the heck. And I'm using, or I'm putting them on now to see if this is going to provide a better solution for tucking. Because now that it's uh, getting warm, it is May, it's mid-May right now, so now that it's uh, getting to be in the warm time of the year. We don't have as much cover garment, as much concealment clothing. Okay, good. <clears throat> All right, so I was able to just reuse the existing hardware. Um, so that's good. So that becomes spare hardware. And I will take these two clips for the moment and I will put them in the little bag. So, as I was saying before I interrupted myself, when uh, I've only worn the the mini tuck with a tucked in shirt on one previous occasion, and it was for a very short period of time. Um, there's a couple things about that. Number one, if, if if you're anything like me, you, you probably get real self-conscious, and I, I do. Um, so I always try to make sure that I'm very, I'm able to, to behave uh, very naturally in my movements and um, be very comfortable with myself um, in a concealment situation. Um, you know, I'll be the guy walking around looking like he's trying to not print, right? Um, so. Uh, tucking the shirt in over the holster works really well. Now, now, this one should work the same way. What you would do is your material of your shirt is going to go right here where my finger is. You basically just, I mean, because you've got a single screw down here and it's leather and, you know, you just 
put the material here. The material would then go over your holster and it would go in between the clip and the leather backing on the other side as well. So that's your that's your tuckability. Um, but with the other the um, standard clips, you tuck your shirt in, um, holsters inside the tucked shirt, and then you've got two clips that are over the top of your belt. So they're they can be fairly conspicuous. Um, and again, even if you're wearing a black belt and, and all that stuff, so um, the J clip is a little more subtle because the belt will ride over the top of the clip, and it's only going to be caught right here at the bottom, and that's going to be basically to prevent the holster from coming up out of the waist if you draw from it. So um, this should give a little more concealability, a little more subtlety and uh, I'm going to give it a try. I will um, share my thoughts on how I like it um, and on how much I use it. I'm not sure whether I'll keep these J clips on like for the duration of the summer or whether I'll you know go back to the others or what I'll do at this point in time. So I'm not sure yet. I will let you know. Um, I will try to include some additional information, some additional video, uh, maybe actually showing um, the holster in use, showing the uh, the, the tuck methods and, and so on. So I'm trying to make it a meaningful piece of information. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, crossbreed mini tuck using the J clips, which is what I am wearing right now. I'm wearing uh, just regular casual business slacks like Dockers. I'm wearing just a uh, you know a very casual button-down shirt. See, I'm wearing a brown belt first of all, with um, with a black shirt, and that's not. <laughs> I'm not quite that fashion ignorant. Uh, that's not something I normally would do. But um, one of the uh, I'm going to talk about these J clips, and you can see them right here. So I have these J clips. I have the holster on, and I, I will expose that in a minute. And show it to you, but if you notice, uh, this belt is a fairly thin belt. This is like a one-inch belt, and the J clips are kind of below it. They're they're really meant for you know to accommodate a wider belt. I've got it tucked in there now, but then that actually looks kind of odd. So if you bring it up to a normal position, then you're really not even using the the clips. So I I kind of I'm wondering what benefit you really get, and you can see they're they're pretty visible. So having the regular clips over the top of the belt in this situation is probably no more noticeable. So here's another example of uh, you know typical casual dress, um, perhaps office dress, or you know out out to dinner, out to a show, whatever. Um, but uh, you know, a regular um, sort of higher level docker type pants, you know, um, black belt, black, uh, this is also a uh, braided belt design and, uh, you know, the, again, the, the typical type of shirt. But this works well um, and it, it works nicely with the J clips because they disappear pretty well because we've got, we've got dark color pants and, uh, and a black belt. Um, you know, in contrast to, you know, lighter, much lighter color pants or, you know, a, a lighter belt like a brown belt, then they're definitely going to show up a lot more. But, uh, so you can see here, um, you know, certainly with this, uh, with this type of, uh, clothing, it's, uh, it, it works, it works good. Um, I still think probably a little better in terms of, uh, subtlety than the, the regular clips. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm still... I still kind of favor the regular clips just as a as a general solution. Okay, back with you again, and different uh, clothing, a pair of jeans, different shirt, uh, same type of shirt though. You know, it's uh, sort of a I don't know, silky, flowy type shirt. Um, but I thought in this for this uh, example, I would actually show the process of putting the holster on and getting dressed. Um, so. 
first thing you're going to do why I'm wearing this uh, t-shirt so I don't have to get all naked in front of you all right so basically and if you can see the clip the J clip and I can do a close-up of this later but the uh, the J clip just goes down over your pants on both sides all right so you got a J clip on the front J clip on the back that just goes down over your pants with the waistband of the pants, right? And we have no belt at this point in time. So, and again, you want to position it pretty much, you know, wherever you normally would like it. And I'm pretty fond of the four o'clock position myself. Okay. So, and that. Now, <clears throat> just to make it complicated, tricky, and fun. Let's actually do a tuck, do a tuck job. Tuckable holster is not, uh, so, I don't use a tuckable holster a lot for tucking. And in a minute you'll see why, because <laughs> I'm not very good at it. But basically, I'm going to tuck in the shirt the way I normally would. So basically you get to, uh, you get like three quarters of your shirt tucked in normally and then this last bit I just leave out around the holster and again I am not I am not the expert there's probably people that do this much better than I do because I don't do it very often all right so that's sort of part one and then You gotta put something in the holster. Now I don't like to have. Now this is actually this is a clear unloaded for the purposes of demonstration. But typically you're going to be holstering a loaded gun, and I don't uh, I don't like to do all the uh, getting dressed and all that kind of stuff with it till the last minute. So. Now to tuck in around the holster, what you do is you just basically pry the clips out from the holster. And you find that you're often working on your blind side here, a little blind spot, so... I do not have the uh, advantage at the moment of a dressing mirror <laughs> of any kind. I've got this tiny little monitor on my camera that I can almost see what I'm doing but not quite so all right so you get that you get that in there now you'll probably notice right away that that's not a really great tuck job but we're not done yet because the next thing we need to do is put on a belt now this is one of the belts I was indicating before it doesn't really fit particularly well I think I can maybe force it a little What I've found is you have to sort of squeeze them down, squeeze the belt down onto the clip rather than run it through, unless it's a really, really thin belt. It's not going to want to run through the clip. But I did that a little prematurely. This is a thick belt. I mean, to be fair, to be very fair, this is a very thick belt. Okay, so I'll go ahead and buckle the belt. Alright, so now we're almost dressed. And now what I typically will do here is I will just sort of blouse the shirt a little more than I normally would, probably. And I'll try and do it evenly round so we don't have... You know, any one area that looks like we don't know how to dress ourselves. 
Right? And that's another reason for wearing this type of shirt, this style, because this style shirt wants to be worn in a casual, you know, sort of a casual hanging way, even even when a even in a business environment or whatever. So, all right. So there we are. Um, we have our holster. We have it tucked. We have the shirt tucked around the holster. And now in this case, you know, it took a little extra work, but you can see those those J clips almost disappear completely around this black belt. This is a good size black belt. I can make it, you know, inch and three quarter. And it's very thick, just barely fits. I mean, I really have to squeeze it down onto those clips in order to make it fit. But it does fit. And there you have it. So, that might help you decide what you think for yourself. Um, like I said, the J-Clip, I'm finding that it, it's probably not that much more useful to me than just the regular clip that will go over the top of the belt. But if you want to feel a little less conspicuous, you know, rather than having a metal clip over the top and outside of your belt with a with a cross on it, this you know, for the crossbreed logo, um, that might attract a little more notice. You've got this very subtle Kydex sort of half half circle at the bottom of your belt. Um, like I say, much less much less conspicuous. So that's it. That is the uh, the crossbreed mini tuck with the optional J clip. Um, it's not a bad option, but uh, you know, for the sake of putting them on and taking them off and, and things like that, I'm probably just gonna I'll wind up just sticking with the regular clip. I think most of the time, but it's good to have these, and I can almost guarantee there will be times when I will put them to use. So there you go.